You got these freight lines right here? Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, we gotta, we gotta go look at a truck for him. We gotta go check out a truck for my main man right there. Super nice guy. Um, he told me to go check out this truck. It might be a freaking winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ooh, look at this joker. Look at this joke, super singles again. It's a lot of trucks up here with super singles. Good God. Look at this red Kenworth. Got the super singles on there, man. A small bump. You know, either I'm going to go with a small bump or I'm going to go with a uh, day cab. That's what I'm looking for, you know. Just in case I go 300 miles out, I run out of time. Guess what? I got a small bump and I can go jump back here and go to sleep. 549,000 miles. Keep it local. Keep it local. Don't go too far. Dude, look at this. All you got space for is to drive. Automatic, okay? You drive in your truck, turn right around and go to sleep. <laughs> That's all you got space for, man. You know? Heck yeah. See, dude, I'm going I'm to tell y'all something. Truck with Tay is a minimalist. I don't require a lot, man. I don't. You know, you might think because, you know, I got, you know, this or I got that. I don't know what you might think, but I'm a minimalist, dude. And I try to be, I try to save my money. Now, I'm not frugal because if I see something, I try to buy it if I can afford it. But, yeah, man. Okay. Okay. 549,000 miles, almost 550,000 miles. Crunk, crunk up on the dime. Crunk up on the dime. Uh, now, this is, I know this is probably a pack car motor. Where's the sheet to this, this truck? Tell me what's going on with it. I don't even know the, I don't I don't know the year to this truck, y'all. All I know is it's long cooling. If you guys, it's long cooling. It's still building up air pressure. Running fine, but it's long cooling, so you gotta check your cooling and see why it's long cooling or why they didn't add cooling. I know if it was me. Oh shit! Yeah, now already air pressure built up fast too, man. That's a good sign. I like it. I like it. I wonder what year it is, man. That's what be, that would be my next question. What year is it? Let me see if I can find it. Good God, man. Oh. Uh, so, would that be a 2016 truck? It just came. Was that a 2016 truck? Day of manufacture 2015, so that'll be a 2016 truck. If I had to guess. 2016. If Trucker would take had to guess, this is a 2016. Honestly. Honestly. Trucker would take will actually take a bid on this truck. And I would buy this truck. I would. Even with the super singles, you know, I would buy that truck. I drive it, test it out, boom, 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 I will buy it. You got some more freight line of day cabs. And then there was these. They put these in the cut so truck would take, couldn't find them. But guess what? I ain't leaving until I find what's mine, man. <laughs> yeah. Here go another one of Big Cliff Cousins. I love that gray. I love that gray. Now, I, one of my first cars I bought was that color. One of my first nicest cars I bought. It was a 2013 Mustang. And I'm not even a Ford guy. I'm freaking Chevy. Worst mistake ever. <laughs>
Oh, shoot. Here goes some 20, what? Some 20, like some 2018s or 19 Freightliners. What's that one right there? 2018, 2019? I'm going to go up here and check for y'all, man. I know y'all wondering. It's a team operation. So you know this got a ton of miles on here. <laughs> let's check. Let's check. Let's check. It's a 2020. 2020. Let's see how many miles on here, boys. 733,000 miles, y'all. If, if I had to, if I had to tell you guys, it do out a little rough, man. So I'm guessing all three of these got high miles. They probably came from the same spot. All three of them probably got high miles, man. You got the new internationals. For all my international guys. You got the new internationals, man. Red. Got a new Volvo. I love these body shapes. These Volvos right here, I love these body shapes right here, man. Nice. Now let's jump in one of these and see how many miles on one of them. And how does it run? You can hear the APU. You can hear the uh, power inverter before you even get in here on one of these trucks. Look at that. Double bump. Double bunk truck. It's like this dead. Dead bastard. Look at that. You been sitting over here too long. I love this color right here. I wonder was this a prime truck. It wasn't no prime truck. Tell you that right now. 476,000 miles on this truck. Double bed. Okay. 476,000 miles. What's this right here? Comment down below what this is, y'all. I ain't never seen this in a truck. I don't know. Smart drive. Is that a little phone that you can call somebody, right? Instead of picking up your phone? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Uh, yeah, 476,000 miles. What year is it, y'all? 2018. I got a 2017. Let's try it out. Let's try it out, boys. It's an automatic. Let's try it out. Let's see. Let's see. Now, let it cycle through. Now, Chuck Wate has had a Peterbilt 579 since 2020. Okay? I can tell you about a Peterbilt, dude. <laughs> I can tell you. I can, I, 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 I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you about a Peterbilt bag. Yeah. So now you looking at, okay. The check engine light didn't go off. Now, when last year, when I was driving my truck, right? Do my check engine light will just come on and go off within like the next, you know what I'm saying? Thousand miles or something, you know what I'm saying? 500 miles, you know, it just depends. Oh. Uh, and a lot of times it was like uh what you call that thing it was a sensor what you call that thing what what, what sensor was it uh it was the knock sensor them things uh, the 579 pack cars are notorious about knock sensors going out so not a big issue not a big thing you know uh you know just switch out the knock sensor and keep on rolling you know Heck yeah. Let's see about this truck. We're gonna open the hood on this one. We're gonna open the hood on this one, big dog. This, whoever truck this is, truck will take gonna open the hood on you, man. You know? You get front and center. You got good tires on your truck. I like that. You got good tires on your freaking truck. You know? It looks like you can it looks like you took care of your truck. If I had to say so myself. Looks like you took care of your truck, man. I like that. I like that a lot. Mid roof, you can take the top part off. You know, all your tires look good. I like that a lot. Do you got your freaking lights back here? You got your lights back here. I like. There was a super ego truck. A super ego lease truck. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's trying to get rid of it, man. He is trying to get rid of this truck. If I had to guess, okay. If I had to guess, this truck 
Now, 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 we in competition today, though. We are in competition today. I'm saying this truck would go for. I'm gonna say 2018 high 400s. I would say this truck will go for probably about. I'm gonna say fifty two thousand dollars. That's how much this truck gonna sell. If I had to guess, fifty two thousand dollars. I would buy. It. If, look, I would buy. It. Just off how it just crack up. Just off the mouth. Just off the color. I like the color. I think JJ I like that color too. Got some flakes in it and everything, dude. All you need is a good blue beacon wash. <laughs> Yeah! You got a new alternator. You don't put no washing fluid in there. You got good time. Forget it, man. I'm still buying. Forget it. <laughs> wow. You guys got a little capital. You guys got a little capital, man. From the car, from the trucks that I just showed you guys, you know, this truck right here will be my top pick. Just that, just because I know, uh, I I know how I, I know how my trucks sound. I know how my trucks feel when I crank it up. You know, I don't know anything about the motor. I don't know anything about the transmission. You know, um, I don't know if something going on with the transmission, something going on with the motor. I don't know if it was towed in here or whatever. But just off cranking it up and hearing it for, you know, a couple minutes. I like that truck, man. You know, if if I had to guess, if I had to pick a, a truck to buy, if I had to pick a truck to buy, I would, I would probably buy that one if I had fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000, man. One more truck to look at, and I got a feeling you guys been eating too many hot dogs at the truck stop. So I'm going to race you over there because I know I'm going to win. <laughs> okay, boys. Okay, I pulled up, and I said, I want to check out this truck. You know, I want to really check out this truck. Okay, let's walk around. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, you got some good tires on here. Yokohama. Oh. Big Spender, Yokohama tires. I like that. I like that. You got the Yokohama tires, Virgin. You got APU on there. I love to see the APU. Not a lot of island. I like that. I like that a lot. You got your mud flat brackets, you know. We saw a truck that was on the lot <laughs> that didn't have the mud flat brackets, you know. Oh, yeah. This owner operator, he take pride in his truck. He took pride in his truck. He got the, you know, all the way around Yokohama. You're going to need some new shocks. You're going to need some new shocks. You got some rust right there. Okay. Now what? It got a commons. It got the commons in there. Let's check it out. We're going to pop that right there. <laughs> what truck is this, y'all? Comment down below. It got that uh flat hood in the middle. The flat hood in the front. What? I can't. I don't know if it's a... I'm gonna figure it out in a minute. Is it a 587? 567? I think it's a 567. That's what I think it is, y'all. Y'all comment in below if I'm if I'm wrong. I don't know if I'm wrong or right. I think this is a 567 truck. What y'all think about this truck? What y'all think about it? Now we're finna crank it up. We're finna see what's going on with it. We're finna see what's going on with this truck. And I'm going to give you the real deal, holy fear. I'm going to tell you the real. Oh, shoot. Come on, dude. You know you ain't got to do all that, dude. This dude got the the freaking custom freaking floors, dude. The wood floors in here, man. <laughs> okay. Got two, two seats. Not just the driver's seat. You got the pinnacle driver's seat because you want to live luxury. Then you got the passenger seat for your wife. There's a legacy. Okay. This dude right here, man, something else, man. This dude right here is something else, man. <laughs> Hold up. 
Hold up. Hold up, man. What's going on with this dude, man? What's it? <laughs> What's going on with this dude, man? This man got the freaking custom buttons. This man got the custom buttons, dude. The legacy seats. This dude like he got a couch. Got a whole freaking like, look at this freaking interior, dude. This man lived and loved this truck, man. What what is what are these? Is that the custom air vents? This dude got wall plugs. This man trip. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know. If you watch my videos, you out there yourself, man. So I'm guessing. If I had to guess, hold up. Got the L LEDs. He got the HVAC. Oh, God. This dude is different. Come on, man. Dude. Dude. I'm blown away. I'm free. Look at this truck, dude. Look at this truck, man. <laughs> I ain't never got in no truck like this, dude. I've never got in a truck like this, dude. This dude is different. I did not expect this at all. I did not expect this at all, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Hold on. Hold up. I wonder, did he do this himself? I wonder, did he do this himself? Or did he pay somebody to do this? Hello. Dome lights. Down the dome lights. LEDs. Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay. Come on, man. This dude got a whole freaking, oh, wow. I want y'all to call that man right now, man. Tell him truck will take looking for him, man. I love to see that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. When I say... You can barely feel that this truck is on. I am not lying to you. You can barely feel that this truck is on. He even left you some fuel in here, dude. <laughs> Let's go out here and check out this motor. You got the ISX motor. The red machine right here. Hey, dude, Cargo Commander, I ain't mad at you, big dog. First truck that's had, that has blown me away since I've been coming to Taylor and Martin Auction, man. First truck that's literally blown me away. When you talk about insides in detail, you got the Yokohama. Now you see, uh, you got the rust. You need some more shocks. You need, I will put more new shocks on here, you know. But when you talk about somebody that looks like they love their truck, first truck that has blown me away, man. What we doing, man? <laughs> what we freaking doing, man? Hey, dope. You I did yourself, man. You I did yourself, big dog. I like that. We chuck it, man. We chuck it. So until next time. <laughs> All right, boys. Who remember my last video? Who remember my last video? And I talked about the Walmart trailers. 